Hi all, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to add some more methods like uh, get all flight and also we'll see how to, we can create custom methods like if you want to search flight with particular variable like we have if you want to search by number then how can we do that okay without providing the implementation using Spring Data GPA. So let's first start with fetching all the flight records. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the get method, okay? And here I'll change the name to get all flights. And I don't need the ID anymore. And I'll remove the path variable. And I'll change this to get all flights. And also the return type will be a list of the flight details okay so let's create this in our interface and also in the service and here what we're going to do is we're going to use the flight repo dot get all let us find all and what it does is it returns us the iterable flight object so let's take that Right. flights okay and next what we're going to do is we now we have to convert this flight objects to DTO the list of DTO objects okay so what we I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use a stream API that is introduced in Java 1.8 so Let's first create the stream by using stream support dot stream and it, you can see that it takes split iterator as an argument and a boolean value. Okay, the boolean value says whether I want to create a parallel stream or a sequential stream. Okay, so split iterator you can get it from here. What I'll do is I'll just name this as iterable and use this here and you invoke the split iterator and for parallel i'll say no i'll use a sequential stream and now what i can do now have the stream ready so let's map our object so for that the map i have the argument as flight okay and this flight i'm going to map it to my DTO. So for mapping DTO, I'll create a DTO object. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use bin utils, copy properties. My source is my flight and my target is DTO. And I'm going to return now the DTO. But you can see what I did, I created a stream, then I mapped all my flight objects to the DTU. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect it. I'm going to collect it using collectors dot to list. Okay, so I have my list of flight DTO, and this is my flights this is my return value i return this so i hope you got this what i'm doing i'm creating the stream and then mapping it to my dto and then collecting it and then returning the values so let's save all of my files here and in the controller i do have the return type as flight dto let's quickly test this and see what we get so let's go to the postman and here now what i'm going to do is I'm just going to pass get because my method is get method here and the mapping is flight. Okay, and if I click on send, I should get all the flight records that are in my database. Let's click here and you can see I'm getting all the records that are in the database here. I have five records and I, get, I see all the five records here. Okay, so that looks good. So next what we're going to do is we are going to search a record with flight number so how do we do that again let's try to use the same get method 
okay and you can use even you know post method but you know for read operation mostly we use get so here i have to pass the flight number so the flight number here is i'll pass it as flight number and you know the mapping becomes the same so what i'm going to do is i'll use uh, some number as flight number okay flight data let's call it this way so here now what i'm going to do is instead of all flight i'll call it as flight by flight number and here I'll have path variable and it is of string type flight number. Okay, so it's, I'll also use the name and copy it here. Perfect. So now here I have to use the flight by flight number and pass this flight number here so let's create this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to return an object that is a flight dto okay so let's create that and also in the service okay so now here what we are going to do is we are going to use again flight repo dot and you can see that we don't have any okay so we i we do have flight by number and that is because you know if you look at my repository here i have added a method assume that this wasn't there before okay now if i go back to my service here let's save all the files for now and now if i do here i don't see the flight you know the custom uh, method that we need for flight number so for that what we need to do is we need to go to the flight repository and here what we do is we say find by you can see that automatically it gives you the options right so you can use flight by number so it will create you the flight list so basically it's giving you a list uh, assuming that you know in the database you can have this as duplicate right the flight numbers can be duplicate but so now what we are going to do is we will just use the flight okay and also you know if you think that you want to have more variables added like if you want to uh, add something like and and you can say that uh, and uh, manufacture date okay you can also do that by and here what you can do is mfd here okay and here what you can do is you can pass the other parameter so that way you can expand your method name by whatever you, you know you want to search in you know, whatever record you want to search in the database suppose you want to search flight number okay flight number with particular manufactured by so you can use both in the man in, in the method name by saying find by flight number and manufactured by and pass those argument here okay or if you want to search uh, something like flight find by flight number or so all those where clauses you know options you can use in your method signature here or the method name here okay so for now we'll keep it simple by searching by searching it with flight number now let's go back to our service and here and you can see that we have the flight by no, find by flight number and we are going to send this and this returns us the flight so okay now we will convert this to a dto uh, for that flight dto is equal to new flight dto and use the bin utils cop 
copy from source my source is flight and the target is dto and now this is what i'm going to return perfect so you get an error here what does it say okay let's save this oh it was just the save okay so now what we are doing we let's take a look at from the flight by number i'm just calling my service and the service then invokes the flight by find by flight number and then converting it to dtu and then sends back the dtu let's quickly test this now here uh, now i'm going to pass the the url was flight data slash the flight number let's search it for flight number three okay and click send and you can see that we get the record for flight number three so that's how we can you know implement a custom method which you know is not in the default repository that we have here crude repository if the if you know the basic methods that we have is find find by id find all delete save if we want to create our own custom methods we can you know implement over here and then we can use it in our service class okay so i hope that is clear and that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next session